Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So around four months I left for your NEET 2024 exam and I know most of you are very tense. But this is the time where you can increase your score and work towards your goal of getting selected in a medical college. So I thought of telling you what all I did and how I revised a huge syllabus and what I'll be sharing with you further is everything that is self-tested and is guaranteed to give you results. And since some of you might be the ones who don't have notes and you don't know where to practice questions from, so stay tuned for the video and I have the solution for that too. So I've divided the video in five to six subtopics and each of them is equally important. So let's move on towards the first topic. Talking about revision, you need to have concise notes which you'll be revising again and again a number of times and it's better if I'll be talking subject wise. So first of all, biology. We all know that biome questions are NCRT se hi aate hai. so you all must have read your NCRTs and made some highlighted points and underlined stuff. So you need to revise that only again and again. And one thing which people tend to leave is the diagrams and you don't have to do that. Questions do come directly from the diagrams, it's labelings and other sort of thing. And also for practicing questions, you just need to do your PYQs and um, other source, which is NCRT based, NCRT centric and uh, don't go much beyond NCRT because it's not required. So let's talk about physics. As you all know, it's a little bit on the difficult side and um, it's sometimes a headache too. I completely understand that. But uh, what you need to do is focus on understanding the concept. And once you have understood it, just make very short and crisp notes. So this is something which I did and what I did was that I made a file banai thi and uske andar har chapter ke, I used to prepare notes on plain pages and in that I used to write important formulas, important concepts and questions which I used to in every test mein, I used to make mistakes in that so whenever I had a test or I feel like ki I need to revise this particular chapter so I used to pick that file up and uh, I go about revising that thing Talking about physics and CRT, you don't need to read that or solve the exercise questions. I would suggest just do the solved examples and also don't go and solve those books like HCV, DC, Pandey and um, you know books that have questions that are JE based and are high level, they don't ask such questions in need. And do MCQs from a trusted source which has questions according to the latest trends. You know they do ask assertion reason and statement based questions in physics too. And uh, the book I would suggest is NCRT ID of fingertips or PYQ book that though you need to do so talking about chemistry chemistry as you all know has three sections physical chemistry you need to have the same approach as physics read the chapter write formulas on a plain page make a notes copy or a notes file and revise that again and again because there are a lot of examples and also formulas and um, then in organic chemistry you need to Read your NCRTs, write all the NCRT reactions in one place and revise that because it's easily forgettable. And organic chemistry also you need to understand all the mechanisms. You need to have a strong grip on your general organic chemistry and you know the basic principles, the inductive effect and all that. And for the question practice you need to do your solved examples of your NCRT in all the three sections and also in physical chemistry you can solve your back exercises of NCRT and again you need to do your PYQs and NCRT based questions. So coming to people who don't have notes and they don't know where to practice questions from. So at this stage you people need to have a trusted platform which you know have the NCRT based questions. So I would suggest this app called Memo Neat and they have everything so organized and also the Neat 2023 exam was almost entirely from their app and everything which I just mentioned is almost there in the app so you don't need to do much of the hard work just go and practice questions and learn. Next we come to making studies fun. 
we all find studies boring so you know we need to find ways of making it interesting first of all you guys need to have a hobby which you can do one hour a day and just to refresh your minds and also in between studies take short short breaks and you know just to freshen up like i would recommend the pomodoro technique and also if you are in a habit of making notes what i used to do is i used to write them beautifully so i feel like revising them again and again and if you're the one who don't have the habit of writing notes this app called memony they have npcm section where they have memes crosswords podcasts so you'll feel like you're playing or having fun but actually you're studying in a fun way so this is something which we can include and uh, this will really ace your performance so after talking about making studies fun and how to revise the syllabus we should talk about another important aspect which is following the trends so let me tell you mere time pe kya hua tha bio section was full of assertion reason based and question that was statement based and it was so lengthy that i took almost 1.5 hours in the bio section and physics i did in 40 minutes which is you know strange and recently what we have noticed is that nta asks questions that are assertion reason based statement based questions and integrated questions that have two to three topics included in them and uh, which are called the in depth questions so you need to have a trusted source your coaching material your teachers and uh, if you don't have any of these you can definitely find them on the memony tab coming to our next topic of discussion which is the test series at this time it is very important to enroll in a good test series that has the questions which are being asked in the past years again and again and questions again in crd base i've been saying a lot of times i would suggest doing one test a day daily and increasing it to two tests per day in the last two months and maine to din mein teen teen tests bhi diye hain so you know it's very important and let me tell you why it's important this gives you a real exam it, feeling and not only this you decide your paper attempting strategy and also you should be able to complete all the questions in the given time and decide which subject you need to do first and kaun sa subject ko kitna time dena hai and also practicing a paper makes you practice questions you analyze your weak topics and um, just paper hi nahi dena hai after giving the paper and seeing the results you need to analyze your weak topics and uh, you need to do error analysis which is more important than giving a paper so i would suggest making a separate notebook for you know your wrong questions in a test and all the test which you give and add those questions in that notebook and if you're doing it on an online platform uh, bookmark those questions and revise them once in a week or however you feel like our next topic is effective study methods and importance of revision सो हम सबको पता है कि जो एक बार पढ़ लिया दैट डजेंट गोज इन योर परमानेंट मेमरी यू नीड टू रिवाइज दैट अगेन एंड अगैन इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो हैव इट इन योर मेमरी एंड यूल बी एबल टू रिप्रोड्यूस दैट इन योर टेस्ट सीरीज एंड ऑल सो वन मेथड विच आई प्रैक्टिस एंड आई हैव सीन सिग्निफिकेंट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम फॉलोइंग दिस इज एक्टिव रिकॉल वट यू नीड टू डू इज आफ्टर स्टडिंग जस्ट क्लोज योर आईज एंड टेक अ पीस ऑफ पेपर अ ब्लैंक पेपर टेक अ पेन and just uh, you know have a habit of writing all of the things you remember from that lecture or from you know your revision se- uh, session on that piece of paper and later on check what all things you missed and uh, with this ek to you'll be writing with your hands and uh, you know more of the senses will be included and it will go deeper in your memory and also you can check what all things you more frequently miss and rectify that accordingly you can practice this with physics and chemistry formulas or bio ke examples you know those plant kingdom and animal kingdom ke difficult wale examples and uh, another thing which i would suggest is study and apply so many of you have not completed your syllabus yet and what people do in this case is they just keep on completing their syllabus and never practice questions and this is a very big mistake what i would suggest is 
study a part apply that in the questions and uh, or uh, do questions first and then study you know the retrograde method works equally effectively and uh, this can be done on the memonite app and these people have beautiful notes where you can study them or maybe if you don't feel like uh, studying you see a podcast and then quickly apply that in the question bank and this is a much better way of practicing questions one last topic which i would like to talk about and you might think this is not that important but uh, it added value to my studies and i thought of sharing is that be in a habit of planning your day in the morning or a night before when i started doing this i used to accomplish you know my task which i decided for the day and uh, just think of completing that task in that day only don't you know procrastinate things and be productive instead of counting study hours and you know you can positively reinforce yourselves like you know maybe having your favorite food at the end of day after completing all of the tasks and my last suggestion or advice to you guys will be don't leave your neat preparation for your board exams you just need to pass your board exams but you need to ace your neat exams and with this we come to the end of this video and i would recommend you guys to check the memo neat app and i believe it will be helpful to you guys i'll be giving the link in the description box and i've personally tried to cover each and everything in case i left out in something you can always write me down in the comment section and i personally reply to each and every comment of yours and uh, yeah that's about it bye bye thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time